Okay, we got rated 26. Can we knock them off their pedestal and stop them getting any higher? Let's try. Uh, they got Bravery, uh, Urshifu, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Santito Excadrill. Okay. Well, 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 well. Um, okay. It's going to be tricky because they've probably got a fast Amoongus here. Um, and we're not really going to be... Uh, I mean, actually... We'll still have to speed it with Mimikyu after they're in Airstream. So that's alright. So we can utilize that some. We're gonna go Torkoal. We're gonna go Mudsdale. Do you want Incy or do you want Venusaur? It's gonna be Water. I think Venus was probably good for a late game. Yeah, yeah let's go Venu. Go Venu. I will ask him, Will, if Ben will cast with me. Uh, I'm sure he would if I asked him, unless he's got something on, but... That would be pretty good. <laughs> but he got his priorities wrong. He's gonna ditch his family <laughs> and his work. <laughs> That's right. You do that, and you'll be like you'll be world champion in no time. Yeah, Cam. We'll get a date sorted ASAP, mate, for sure. Okay, Amoongus and Cineral coming out. I can't imagine the Amoongus having Mental Herb. Uh, I can't imagine the Amoongus actually staying on the field here, to be honest. Um, but maybe that's how he's got so high on the ladder. We'll call it Taunt. Um, I'm going to body press into Amoongus as well, because I can imagine maybe Excadrill or Tito coming in on that slot. I mean, are they though? Probably no. We're probably better off just going for an eruption. If they fake us out here, then fair enough. But if we get an eruption off because there's no fake out coming out, then we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Imagine if you body press there. <laughs> Uh, is this going to be enough to get the Amoongus? Still minus one, but very close, very close. Uh, they're going to switch out into Teton now, I think. So we can safely body press into that slot now, I think. We could double up into that slot, to be honest. Um, yeah, play rough body press. We probably flare blitz with Incineroar. Into Mimikyu, trying to get the KO, I think. <laughs> Could you imagine Incin with the Ocker? Mungus with the Mental Herb. Yeah, let's see that T-Tar, come on. There we are, there you are, my lad. Come on. So if we hit with the player up, we probably proc a weakness policy, but then the body press will be enough to uh, pick up the knockout onto it. Weakness? No weakness policy. Even better, that parting shot is what we like to see. I think the drill's coming in though. <clears throat> but that's alright. Oh, it's Urshifu. Huh. Okay. Well, at least we're able to get rid of Tito. Great. Urshifu is base 95, right? <laughs> Will. Karita, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Nice battle against Amadi this morning. Are oh, you caught it, dude? I shouldn't have been battling. I'm well, actually home working today, so I was in between doing some stuff. I was actually redoing this um, this uh, stream overlay and doing the, the sound thing up in the corner, which isn't actually working. 
which is super annoying. So I'm going to have to look at that in a minute. But yeah, I did jump on just to test everything and ran into Graham. Uh, so yeah, and then he, he messaged and said he was on um, on stream. It's 97. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Bebum, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Urgh. Okay. I mean... Let's go for... Oh, I have to get... I have to get... Um, let me queue out of here. Um, Focal out of here. Probably for Mudsdale. Hopefully we're not going to take Surgeon Strikes. Pew. Pew. <laughs> My opponent decided, number 26! Quitting on us like that. That's how we roll, friends. We've got Davide up next. Um, playing a team of Grimmsnarl, Diggersby, Toko Venusaur, Cinderace, and Rotom. Um, I still think, like, uh, they're probably, like, main speed control, obviously. I think in this match, there was the airstream from the Cinderace if they max there, or the, the Diggersby. And then T-Wave, potentially, from the Grimmsnarl. Um, I think we've got a pretty good way to get a Trick Room up if we want to. Um... The Rotom could be a little bit awkward to deal with if we don't bring Venusaur. Um, but I don't really feel super comfortable with Venusaur Torkoal because I think mm, Mudstill is even worth it in this match. It has a pretty hard time against most things. Um, just the Venu Torkoal mirrors. Not the most pleasant. But I mean. We kind of need to deal with a Grim Snarl before we can do any. I think we got more. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll deal with Rotom with Mimikyu. That's like the worst advice anyone's given anyone. Some dudes, Venusaur just lived expanding force from my NDD. So naturally, I was like, he's a salt vest. He doesn't have sleep powder. That's where I was wrong. Oh, you were wrong. <laughs> And yeah, the dude's running double rabbit, so props to Davide with this this build. The Grim Snarl Cinderace coming out. I mean we might see Taunt Taunt Grim Snarl. That would make sense. Um Which makes me want to definitely go fake out into Grim Snarl. White herb Cinderace. Huh. Take a Grim Snarl uh, and we'll get our Trick Room up. Let's see what the Cinderace goes for. Read the above chat. Okay. Where am I starting? I checked the team at the end of the game. He was a Soul vs. Sleep Out. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> the ultimate troll will. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. How much invest? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the assault vest with sleep on it. Just in case of knockoffs. That's why. <laughs> There's logic in it. We get the fake out into Grim Snarl. We'll stop any shenanigans there. It does go for a priority attack, and we're going to see an airstream, so I mean, we couldn't have gone any more perfect for us, really. Um, I mean, it would be better if we didn't take a crit there, but uh, there's not really too much we can do about that, to be honest. So, um, I think what we'll do is we will, we will try, we'll go for a player up into Grimmsnarl, try and get some damage there, we'll go for a, a parting shot into the Cinderace to just get that attack down a little bit and get Mudsdale onto the field, I think. I need to go further up, do I? <laughs> okay, I couldn't hit a stone edge. No, you're right. I 100% couldn't hit a stone edge. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? I hope you're doing well. 
Okay, so we get the parting shot into Cinder's. Uh, kind of makes me want to bring in Torkoal now, since the, the Venus made an appearance onto the field. Um, especially if they go for a big fat steel spike. Please steel spike. Please steel, steel spike the mimic you. Or G Max Powerball would be fine, honestly. Max Darkness. Okay, you're going to mimic you with that? Makes sense if you do, because we did have. Yeah, I mean, we did have Incineroar. Which is still actually super fine, because now we can just clear up and eruption and probably clear the field. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And do they have anything? Do they have screens set up? No. Huh. Yeah, we're just eruption. And do that. That's gone. Okay, Venus still gonna protect. How much is this gonna do? This would do a good chunk to Cinderace. Yeah, like definitely. Hmm. We missed a KO on it earlier, but not this time. Not this time. Which type change uh, is going to win when Greninja is added back? <laughs> Kecleon. Which type changer? It's tough, isn't it? I reckon... Um, hmm. I'm just going to play rough, and I'm actually going to max so call. This seems nuts, but I, w I feel like they're going to try and fake us out and sleep harder us. Okay, maybe not. Mm. We should be able to get rid of the Grim Snarl here, unless it throws up a Reflect. But if it, reflo if it throws up a Reflect, it's not... Tanking these moves. I mean, this is still going to do a lot to Rotom. Yeah, there's a the taunt. Doesn't want to set in that trick room up again, which makes sense. The damage this does to Rotom can be fat damage. Yeah, okay. It hasn't got Citrus. No Citrus. We get Grim Snow. Very close. Okay. And they got one turn of Trick Room left, so uh, what's our one turn of Trick Room? Yeah, I think we go after the we go after the Rotom again. Oh, Mega Ampharos! I forget about Mega Ampharos. Good game to beat it. Okay, we got Sir Double R up next playing uh, Moongus Scottetel. Gyarados, Excadrill, Magnezon, and Incineroar. Okay. We definitely need Mimikyu. I think probably Incineroar for sure, because even if we see the Goth Patel, at least we can switch both of these out. I think we, our Trick Room mod's pretty solid here. Uh, we need to be a bit careful around Gyarados, but we can still do some stuff. And Mudsdale, Torkoal, murders literally everything else on the field. So we'll see how we get on. Sound is really quiet. Is it very quiet? If it is, let me know because I can definitely turn stuff up. Hopefully, it's not too quiet. Bundy, stop, st stop stirring. I'm not whispering. Okay, let's see if we can get back up this ladder. Gyarados got the tail. Hmm. The Intimidate's going to be useful here. It'll be interesting to see whether it's Moxie Gyarados or not. 
Um, Moxie, and it's white. Yeah, that's not so good because uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely lose Incineroar here for sure. Um, this is tricky because I want to Trick Room. I mean, we do Trick Room, right? We have to fake out the Gothitelle. We have to. Um, Yeah, we ha I mean, we have to. Otherwise, they could trick room on our trick room, which is no good. Um, and I don't want to be in the situation next to him where I have to trick room if the Gyarados is mega. All that. Okay. Right, well. All is not lost just yet. Uh, okay, we plant some force into Gothitelle. Um, and we will try imparting shut out onto Gyarados. Taunt Gyarados, here we go. You know what's annoying? You can create a second pair of goggles using Chromomatic. I do I didn't know that actually. Uh what's the recipe, Stu? Kind of gonna hope that they go into Mimikyu here, but I don't think they will. I think they're gonna just nuke down the yeah, the Incineroar. Bye-bye, Incineroar. Hmm. The issue bringing in Torkoal against this pair unless we max which seems very wasteful is we bring it in they max geyser on us and get the weather if we bring mudsdale in we pretty much get nuked um not really too much we can do either way i mean i have to i think i think we've lost this already I'm not being defeatist or anything, but I think I don't think there's much we can do. Like I say, I can max. I don't think I can switch. Yeah. So pointless maxing as well, because I really need. I need Mudsdale to be the, the max Pokemon. But the only way I can stop the rain being up, especially at the minute, is if we max Torkoal. Um, and chase down the Gothitelle. Specs Gyarados, you want to see it? This is not ideal. Gyarados is plus one as well, so it's yeah, it's not great. Yeah, that's way, 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 way bad. The Cassie Berry, yeah, this is nasty. I mean, we are gonna get mm, probably not gonna get rid of the Gothitelle because uh, Vortex is gonna be set up, so we're not gonna get rid of it. But we need to finish with the sun up, really. That's what we need. Okay, we get a citrus berry. This is like we're trying to make the best of a really bad situation here, friends. Things get heated when the, the call D Max is for sure. This is the second game in the row we did. It made more sense last last uh last game. Just beat the fifth ranked player on ladder back to rank top two hundred. Nice job, man. Good job, dude. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, we can totally, de totally deny anything they do right now. We can max guard, and yeah, we don't take any damage, and we phantom force as well.
Now they went Trick Room. Huh. Okay, so we can actually get Gothitelle this next turn. And get some decent damage onto the Gyarados, actually, at the same time. Um, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go Max Flare into Gothitelle. We'll still avoid attacks with Mimikyu. Uh, so we should still have our uh, Disguise intact at the end of this turn, which is super useful. Okay, Goth gonna switch. Excadrill coming in. Excellent. I don't really get why they've set the trick room up for us and and done this, to be honest. Okay. I literally don't mind that at all. Like the longer Gyarados is off the field the better. I think Gothitelle comes back in now. Yeah. Probably not, dude, but I will be around tomorrow. Uh, and Psych, uh, yeah, so Mimikyu is a little bit fast to set the Trick Room, but at the same time, um, it can work out a Trick Room, like in situations like this, so it's not super bad um I think we try and play rough Gyarados uh or do we nah I think what we'll do is how many turns of trick room we've got left hmm. yeah okay we'll go for a phantom force go to tell um and we'll just heat wave Fine, where's the bounce coming in? Oh, that's really unfortunate for my opponent. Like, it's not knocking us out, but that still breaks the disguise. Um, and now we do have the heat wave. Yeah, we'll just go for that. Because it, if we can get a burn onto the Gyarados, it's not Lum, then that, that definitely helps us out a bunch. Okay, so we're going to see a helping hand waterfall, I think. Should get rid of the Gothic Tell, and now Mimikyu is going to be in a position to get some decent damage onto this Gyarados. So, yeah, we may go down to this. Yeah, and we're going to get that Moxie boost again on the Gyarados. So, it'll just be interesting to see what my opponent's last Pokemon is. Um, but to be honest, with Mudsdale. Sunlight Faden isn't ideal. Uh, Mudsdale coming in, if they haven't got a fake out user coming in, we should be able to get the Gyarados with a Rock Slide. That's a Moongus. Okay. Is it a very slow Moongus? Ah, that, that, that does make it tricky. Okay, I think we... Uh, yeah, the Rage Powder definitely doesn't help. Okay, I think we taunt a Moongus. Um, if it's a speedier Amoongus, then we're all right. Okay, the Rage Powder. I think we just win this anyway now, because uh, the Rock Slide should take down the Gyarados. Yeah, and we'll get the Taunt onto the Amoongus, and it's done. Whoo, okay. I really, really, really didn't expect us to get a win here. I felt after that lead, uh, got to tell Gyarados, um, Especially after the taunt from the Gyarados, I thought it was kind of locked there, so it's nice to be able to potentially come out of this on the better side, but it's not over just yet. Auxiliary, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining the stream tonight with us all. The sludge bomb. I think a combination of high horsepower. Um, Phantom Force should get the Amoongus. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Good game to my opponent. Yeah, that was a tricky one. That was tough. But 
managed managed to somehow worm my way out of it. Right. Let's see. Solby Solby Sob. Okay. Uh PZ, Amoongus, Talonflame, Lycan Rock. I've got like mustache hairs in my mouth. Uh Azumarill and in Incineroar. Okay. We have to trick room. Mimikyu is really good against PZ because it can kind of avoid that first attack and do stuff to set up. Um, it's the other stuff that's not so great. It's getting the trick room up that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, I think we got Talk on Mugsdale. I mean, is Venusaur worth bringing here just for the. Mm, nah, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. <laughs> it's amazing if you if I only speak in that voice. I mean, I do have a voice mod that I could actually put on, and it would actually make me sound genuinely different. So without me <laughs> speaking like that, poison monotype. I have a team I could lend you. Okay, let's do that. We're on the street. It's uh, statistically the best. <laughs> the best type, statistically speaking. Yeah, don't know about that, dude. I would definitely love to play it though, one hundred percent. Okay, we're gonna trick room for sure. Mm. We have to fake out the talent flame if we're gonna do this, because they could have taunt. They probably have taunt, so we we can't let them taunt us. We have to sack Incineroar, which isn't good, but. It'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. Man, I feel like, honestly, I've just put that... That Tash on. And I've literally... My mouth's just full of hairs. Talonflame close combat to self-proc PZ. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? Ooh. Is it going to trick room on it? Trick room on a trick roomer? No, it's not. It's breaking our disguise with a T-ball. Uh, I kind of don't mind that, to be honest. Um, are we going to see a Belly Drum Azumarill, though? Wouldn't be great. Right, I think I've got the hair. Stray ginger hair. And who buys ginger mustaches as well? Like, really? Like, I look like Bruce Willis. There's a Bruce Willis film I saw, like, years ago, and he has a ginger mustache. And it just reminds me of that character. It's like a really creepy character from some sort of like weird thriller movie. Um, okay, what are we doing? We need to try and get uh, Torkoal onto the field, honestly, uh, and Mudsdale. Um, I'm kind of worried about the Azumarill though. Uh, 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 uh. We just play rough it. Let's just play rough it and just get some damage onto it and parting shot into the PZ. The worst thing here would be, I guess, well, Belly Drum's going to be super bad for us. Um, yeah, PZ and Belly Drum Azumarill. Might be a little too much for us. This is why we maybe needed Venusaur. Yeah. Uh, depends how much this play rough does, honestly. We are life orbs. We haven't been intimidated or anything, so. The problem is, as well, we could be bringing Tolkol in just to get sacked. Which is not ideal, but I've kind of got to bring Tolkol in over Mudsdale. I think Mudsdale. There's a way better job here. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Quite enough, is it? Um, yeah, we can bring Mudsdale in. I mean, the sun up is 
a massive help for us. Um, but still, an Aqua Jet's going to do a massive chunk of damage. Now, we are slower than the PZ, so we could potentially get a max Steel Spike into the Porygon Z. Uh, but we're probably actually better because, yeah. I think they Aqua Jet whatever they do here. So we'll go Era and um, Max Quay into PC. Yeah. Is it Die Hard 2? Tyler, how are you doing? Going to be longer than usual. Dude, this is the last one for tonight. Sorry to say, man. But I hope you're doing well, dude. Probably an AV Azumarill. Use Belly Drum. <laughs> AV Benjum. Just for the trolls. Yeah, there's Aqua Jet. Not ideal, but hopefully the special defense boost here. That would mean technically the PZ would be down to minus two. And another one. Ooh, I don't know if another maybe a max is a max knuckle gonna be enough to get it, I don't know. Don't think so. I thought that might do a little bit more. Okay, well we get get the Azuma. Helps. And the max strike, so that's into. I mean, we take that pretty comfortably. We take that pretty comfortably, right? Ah. Uh another speed boost so, uh, defense boost I'll double up into PZ this next turn will definitely get it was that its last turn max can't be like rock huh. no I think we'll go phantom forces turn into like and rock and I'm gonna go for Well, it just makes sense to go for Max Quake, which is further boosting our uh, special defense. So, that's what we need to do. Okay, we're going to see the PZ actually retreat here. I wonder what the Lycan Rock's going to do. It's Talonflame. Ah, uh, okay, we get totally caught off with that. Bella Rock. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, hmm. Well, I'm just going to max quick into Lycan Rock. Because we Phantom Force it anyway, so we'll see what we'll see what happens. But our resources are running a little bit thin now. We've only got like Incineroar in the back. So it's not ideal against what we've got left, but I mean, okay, that's super fine. Kind of want this to knock the Lycan Rock out, in all honesty. Um, so the Phantom Force, yeah, imagine it's Sash, uh, would actually get uh, the Talon Flame. <clears throat> We must still have. We still got one turn of Trick Room left. We've got one turn of Trick Room left. That helps us out massively. Um, but if Trick Room ends here, that's bit bit bad, bad bad news. Yeah. Okay. Because we're not Max anymore. So even though they're the last two Pokemon, uh, hmm, maybe what we do is this. And go for a body press into PZ because Talon Flame's not an not an issue for any anyone to to deal with. It's the PZ that's the scary thing. Um, I don't know if it hyper beams here to be honest, but I think you've got to chase down the Mudsdale with the PZ. It's the only thing that can knock it out at this point. Like Talon Flame's not knocking it out. Talon Flame will get Mimikyu, so that would make sense to kind of go. 
Talonflame, Brave Bird, Mimikyu, um, maybe Dark Pulse, Mudsdale. And um, Rushu01, thanks so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I mean, if we see a Hyper Beam here, I think it's done. So there's a Flare Blitz coming out. This Kumaquat, thank you so much for the follow. I mean, they've went into Mudsdale. And then they've thrown. Completely thrown. Maybe expecting that the sun up, that the flare blitz could get the mudsdale, but I think just underestimating the horse, so. There we go. Uh, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, we just fake out and uh, rock slide now, and that should be it. That should be it, friends, and we end on a victory, but the uh, battle is cancelled. So, excellent. Let's see where that takes us. That should be top 150, I think. I think. Sticky old Gastrodon. The best ability a Gastrodon can have. But it's been pretty successful tonight. It has been good. So, what we'll do is, let's take a quick glance at the rank and see where we ended up. For one, top 150, I'll be super happy. See, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I'm not putting the tash back on. There's no way we're doing that. So, 139, that's good. Mudsdale's proved it's uh it's it's a it's a very good Pokemon. Um now rental teams now. Oh no 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 what are we doing? We need to check it now. What am I doing? There we go, there we go. Boosh! So there we are friends. There's the team. Enjoy it. Play it. And just for you guys, get my Mudsdale Tash on and we'll uh <laughs> we'll end the stream like this. Okay, is there anyone we can raid? I feel like I've got my raid mask on. We can we can really raid people with this. I need to get a better fake mustache. I swear I would grow a mustache. Well I wouldn't I wouldn't grow a mustache if I could. Okay, friends. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. As always, I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Have a great weekend. If you're taking part in the LCQ for the Rolls Tower this weekend, hopefully I'll see you there. I'm going to be playing in it with this, this get up on. And um, we'll have a great time. No, good luck with that. And uh, I'll see you all. I'm going to take this off. <laughs> I can't be serious with this on. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully we'll be playing a brand new team Monday. We'll see how high we can get in the ladder this month because we've got plenty of time to do it. But uh, let's give James a raid and uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend, friends.